The brand new law of the land in the state of Arizona banning nearly all abortions was put into effect in the olden times. In 1864, when this ban first went on the books, Arizona wasn't even a state. In fact, it had just become a territory of the United States one year prior. The population of the entire area, which included part of what is now Nevada, was less than 10,000 people. Less than 250 people lived in Phoenix. There were at least three times as many cattle in the territory as there were people. In 1864, America was made up of just 36 states. There was no state of Nebraska or Colorado, Washington, Oklahoma, certainly no Alaska or Hawaii. Arizona would not be admitted to the Union for almost 50 years. We were, of course, still in the midst of the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was president, and he had just signed the Emancipation Proclamation. The slavery remained legal, would for another year until the 13th Amendment was ratified. Of course, African Americans could not vote. Women could not vote. It took 56 more years for that to change. In 1864, we didn't have light bulbs. Indoor plumbing was new and rare. The number one movie was, well, nothing, obviously. There were no movies. Radio was still decades away. But in 1864, Arizona convened its very first territorial legislature and passed a near total ban on abortion. It was codified in 1901 and again in 1913 after Arizona became a state. Today, the state Supreme Court upheld that very same law, turning back the clock 160 years for women in Arizona. Joining me now is Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays, who has said that she will not prosecute any women or doctors under this law. It's good to have you. Um, let me just start with a legal question, because I think a lot of people are confused. <laughs> like, how is it possible to unfreeze uh, a law from 1864 and have it be the law of the land? What was the question before the Supreme Court, and what position did your office take? Right, Chris. Well, thanks for having me. And, and the legal question was really uh, whether the 1864 territorial total abortion ban with no exceptions for rape or incest uh, took uh, precedent or, or uh, was the, the law that the Supreme Court should choose over a much more recently adopted 15-week uh, ban, much more recently, as in this century, a few years ago, the legislature uh, passed that ban. We were obviously arguing the 15-week ban, though it is imperfect and had no exceptions for rape or incest, should take, uh, you know, should be implemented if you're going to have to implement an abortion ban over an 1864 law. Unfortunately, this uh, yeah, a Supreme Court uh, dominated by pretty uh, extreme justices, it looks like, uh, chose 1864. So what does this mean now for the, the, the residents of your state? Look, Chris, this is this is an existential crisis for for our residents. And I think, you know, millions of Arizonans, men and women, uh, Republicans, Democrats, independents woke up this morning to a decision that drags us back to 1864. And, you know, though I have said I will not prosecute anyone under this draconian law, um, we obviously know that it's going to have a chilling effect on reproductive access, reproductive health care access, on abortion access. And, you know, I've already had attorneys general from uh, other states reach out to me to offer their help and uh, had the vice president of the United States reach out to me today to offer her help. Um, this is a this is a crisis for our state and we it, it's it's chaotic, to be honest with you. But we're going to continue to fight this decision by the Supreme Court. We're going to do everything that I can as AG and not everything is on the table. Nothing is off the table. We're going to continue to fight this in the courts uh, wherever we can. And we're going to try to help women in the period, basically, Chris, between now and when Arizona will have a, a ballot initiative on the ballot in November that I believe will allow Arizonans to uh, enshrine reproductive rights and abortion access in our Constitution. Yeah, I was just going to talk about the possibility of a remedy polling uh, that we have. This is 2023 polling out of uh, Arizona State. 
had 62 percent of Arizonans saying abortion should always be legal with no restrictions or legal with some minor restrictions. I would imagine there will be some polling this week, and I would bet that number is probably even higher. There is going to be a ballot initiative in the state, and, and would that that would override this decision, right? It would is it a state constitutional amendment. Um, it, absolutely. It's a constitutional amendment, and it would override uh, this decision. And, you know, I, I really think, you know, uh, obviously this is a terrible, terrible decision coming out of the Supreme Court here. But uh, this, is a, this is a political earthquake that I think extreme Republicans are going to regret. They're going to regret this. Uh, come November, I believe that ballot initiative is going to pass. I believe Arizonans are resoundingly going to make it clear that they don't want to be dragged back to, to 1864. I believe it makes uh, it very possible that our legislature would be flipped to Democratic. And certainly, uh, Ruben Gallego, who is running for the United States Senate, uh, could benefit from this as well, as could Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Yeah, I sh should note that the, the president put this statement out today. Millions of Arizonans will soon live under an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban, which fails to protect women even when their health is at risk or in a tragic case of rape or incest. The ruling is a result of the extreme agenda of Republican elected officials who are committed to ripping away uh, w w women's freedom. Obviously, this is going to be an acute crisis. Crisis, though, in the next few months, you said everything's on the table, but I got to imagine, I mean, you know, this is now, I think, the most ex the, the most extreme ban in the country, right? It has to be. I think it, it probably is, Chris, and that's why, you know, I'm going to be in communication with uh, my colleagues, my AG colleagues around Arizona, California, New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, to see what we can do with our partner states to help women who probably are going to have to flee um, Arizona uh, in, in the next few months. There'll be about a, a 45 to 60 days uh, stay in this decision, we believe, due to another court case. Oh, uh, but we're still going to have this period where, where, where uh, abortion care could come uh, to, to almost a total halt. And so we're going to need our surrounding states to um, take in women who need reproductive care. Truly shocking, uh, to my mind, appalling decision out of, out of your state today, uh, Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.